And then I say, Joe Obama. <laughs> Brilliant. Look at Johnny and Janie Black, watching and wishing they had a snack. Hello, what this? Hang on to your chairs. Our three friends, the honey bears. We heard you were wishing for something to eat. Something delicious. Something sweet. And here's a treat that can't be beat. Oh, oh sugar, sugar crisp, it's fun to eat. Oh, sugar foods, I love you. I can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Sugar <laughs> No, not that kind of cereal. It's just... There we go. <laughs> now, if you're anything like me, you've probably assumed for most of your life that cereal was basically just a fancy word for candy that you got to eat at breakfast. And for the most part, you wouldn't be completely wrong. How did Captain Crunch become a captain? Does a trick bunny ever get that elusive bowl of cereal that he's always hungering for? Well, the only way to find out the answers to all these questions was to tune in to their very specific commercials. Now, on one hand, this was brilliant and made people want to tune in and watch what they had to show. <laughs> Which, to be honest, most of these commercials were pitched usually during Saturday morning cartoons, so it was pretty seamless. And no cereal mascot was more infamous than that of the Sugar Bear. I can't get enough of that sugar cream. I can't get enough of that sugar crisp, sugar crisp. Sugar bear? Oh, you'll not get my sugar crisp this time. Oh, I'll change my house into a spaceship. <laughs> well, you know, the Granny Goodwitch spaceship. I must be a million miles away from him. Hi, Grant. Small universe. What are you doing up here? Just seeking the taste of 101 sweet buns. Namely, sugar crisp. You never get my sugar crisp cereal. Never. A little walk in space never hurt anyone. You'll never find it here. Sugar crisp. Honey of a snack, you know. I know. Tumble through sugar and honey. It tastes like a hundred and one sweet buns. You can't get enough of that sugar crisp. See you on Earth, Granny. Granny. You can get sugar crisp in post treat pack too. Post cereals make breakfast mm, a little bit better. Ah, the holiday season. For many, it's the time to get together with friends and family. For others, like me, you could use it as a uh, opportunity to uh, cheat on your diets, you know, go a little sweet. Then again, there are other things I like to do on this beautiful holiday season. <laughs> For me, it's review toys. But before we get any further into that, did you know that bear attacks happen annually around the United States? They are a very serious threat and should not be a laughing matter. Bear beats Battlestar Galactica. As a kid, nothing mattered more to me than Christmas. The sights, the sounds, and for a vintage junkie like me, I loved the Christmas commercials. And yes, I know that concept seems a little bit alien now, but trust me, it was the only place you could see Captain Crunch don a Santa outfit, or see the Flintstones actually meet Santa, or see Sugar Bear keep going strong. Oh, here comes that singing bear again to steal my post sugar crisp cereal. I'll change my house into a, a haunted house and scare him away forever. Granny! Ah, haunted house. Here you are, Lancelot. <laughs> hey, Spook, come back with that post sugar crisp cereal. Sugar bear, the sugar crisp is in the grandfather's claw. Thanks, Spook, whoever you are. Easy, bat boy. I got very little flying experience. Ah, safe landing. <laughs> Granny, fancy meeting you here. I'll take that. Sugar crisp. Honey of a snack. Honey flavored wheat that's sugar, 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 sugary sweet. Oh, I can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Sugar You've got crisp. Got a nice sugar singing crisp. voice, sugar. You can get sugar crisp in post tens, too. Post cereals make breakfast mm, a little bit better. 
and going strong, this sugar bear did do. The box itself is set in a stunning gold color, with a slight gloss that illuminates the mascot and draws your attention to the message below, offering you a free toy. That's right, cereal boxes used to come with prizes. Did I just blow your mind? Munchie? <laughs> And along the back of the box, we can see that they've set up a really cute Christmas tree maze. There's just something about the colors that invoke a feeling of pure nostalgia. And you know what? Just for kicks because you guys have been so groovy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and complete this puzzle together, huh? Can't be too hard. I mean, come on. Alright, let's see. First... Find your way through the snow maze to the hidden bowl of Golden Crisp. Start at the star. That's unique. Alright, we're starting at the star. This doesn't seem too hard. Alright, going down this way. Looping around. Man, we are making trails. At this rate, we're going to get there in no- Oh. Oh, Granny. Ah. Uh. Great. Granny's crossing the tree again. Well, we're going to be here a while. Might as well open that new toy. Now, before reviewing a serial toy of this caliber, one must be ready, mentally and spiritually. And above all, one must be hungry. But this isn't just any hunger, no, no. This is a manly hunger. I think I'm ready. Serial cam mode, activate. Add sound effects. Yeah! Woo! Looks delicious! Uh, waiter, there's a bear in my soup. Let's fish that on sea. Hello! All you beautiful grannies out there with your sugar crispin, feel free to join me as I sing my sugar crisp song. Cause as I snip, and you have some time, why don't you go? Like, comment, and subscribe. You'd be cooler if you did. Now I'll admit, my very first reaction opening up this toy was that it looked a little bit cheap. With the frame of the ornament looking a little bland, a little milky. That is until you realize that that's meant to be glow in a dark material. So in theory, if you were to hang this up on a Christmas tree, in a dark room, it should give off a little bit of a glow. Nothing too crazy. Standing strong and proud in the center of the ornament is Sugar Bear holding up a candy cane. Oddly enough, I feel like this would have been a great time to have him hold a box of cereal, but hey, who, what do I know? The colors have maintained their patina. They look just as bright and just as festive as the year they were painted, which coincidentally, according to the box, might have been in 1997. So for being close to, what, 20 years old? Gotta say, it held up. The ornament itself is being held aloft by a teardrop frame, reminiscent of classic teardrop Christmas lights. And much like actual Christmas lights, under the right conditions, this one can glow. And for a kid, that's pretty much everything. You could put this baby up on a tree, dim the lights, and even if you had no electricity, you could vaguely make it out. That's enough for some. It's enough for me. <laughs> Not for those of you out there wondering why the bear is being held in such a peculiar situation here in the frame. Well, it's because not only does this figurine and this this ornament shine, it can dance. Outside of that vintage looking paint job, it looks like they only really covered one side of the sugar bear, which I guess makes sense. It would save money in the long run, maybe less paint to be used on a figurine. But I feel like you might have been able to add a second face so that as he spins, maybe he winks. Or maybe he has glasses. I'm just saying, that it could be cool. Craft, you should call me. <laughs> and because it wouldn't be a vintage treasure without it. If you turn the figurine around and look down at the postmark, you could actually see the year that it was released. 1995 by the Kraft Food Company. Ah, love the immersion. 
And while I didn't expect my Christmas adventures to be so ornament oriented, check out the last video with that handsome bastard Raya there. The, 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 the Grinch. Unlike the Grinch figurine, this one didn't come with any kind of thread or wire to hang it up on, so it's really up to your own devices. Which I guess is fair. This one glows in the dark. Though I guess this one was also meant to glow. More on that in another video. But I hear you, Granny. Is the toy really as cool as they say it is? Does it really glow in the dark? Well, honey, there's only one way to find out. Sing along with me. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp, sugar crisp, sugar crisp. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Keep me going strong. Transition, baby!